y'all it's Britt so I have a Christmas in July project share to share with you um this is for Joanna's uh who scrap nuts on Instagram and I believe on YouTube um as well um she did a Christmas in July a country Christmas swap and we had to make um a two-paged uh like two page so one two six by six page layout um to make an album and it was country christmas theme and or rustic christmas and you also had to make two handmade embellishments i made some extra so yeah let me show you so i sewed sorry it's gonna be a little loud because there's jingle bells but i sewed these red buffalo plaid envelopes fabric envelopes to hold my swap and then they're decorated on the top i stitched some dictionary paper and then i made these bows i was so proud of myself um and i have a little santa uh belt here and then this tag here is from target and this has my business card in it and they can i didn't write on it so they can reuse it and then i have the jingle bell and that's just uh, tied on with this green twine so i did gold stitching for everything um so i have my three sets and then they're just velcroed and on the inside there's a piece of paper just to make it a little more you know sturdy um so this one has wreaths and that's stitched on and let me show you how my swaps come um, so here's my main set of the two hem and embellishments we were supposed to make. They're backed on this really pretty buffalo plaid Christmas tree paper. Um, I created, this is a die from AliExpress, and then this is one, this poinsettia is from Tuesday morning. Um, so I just cut this out in two different tones of brown, layered them, and then I did the snow text on them, and then again I layered up the poinsettias, um, piece them all together. I put some gold um, tinsel, um, what's it called? Um, fiber, um, that's the center to the, the punch out that comes out. And then I just put a white pearl and again, snow text it so it looks like a snowy wreath. And then these are giant wooden snowflakes from Michaels and I snow text them and put some frontage glitter on there and then I have my stitched vellum washi tape rosettes and again I put the gold um, tinsel and then I this is a cottage cut die it's a Santa hat and I cut this uh, the puffy parts out in glittered white foam and it just has the little Santa hat so there's a big like poinsettia snow Santa um, and buffalo plaid deer kind of theme going on for this and then I just wanted to add something to this so I have two Christmas tags there's this one that says Merry Christmas um, and then a wooden one that says Noel and that's just on with a gold clip and then this is my page layout hold on So I just packaged them up like this. This is all fo folded and just loose so they can reuse this and then I put a handmade, additional handmade flat embellishment um, on each of these. So this one has a Christmas coffee cup that like matches the colors and everything's just held on with a clip but you can still open this on the side to get to the layout. So the first layout has this plaid with the gold foil. Um, as the background and I did gold stitching around the whole outside. Here's my photo mat um, I have a poinsettia on here. This one I did slightly different um, Instead of putting the fiber I put um, the thick um, glitter paint um, This I made with the fabric I gathered and gathered for some I did it I gathered it and sewn it and made some fabric trim so it's the first time I've ever done that and I love it. Um, and then I cut out this and made this um, Santa's typewriter or just of typewriter, like making a letter to Santa was kind of my idea. 
Um, I believe this is a Spellbinders die. I have some of the fake pine trim. I have a cardinal and another poinsettia embellishment. And then I just cut this out of paper and, you know, made the scribbles and distressed it to make it look like it's typing. Um, and then the corresponding page and everything is backed on uh, craft cardstock just to make it a little more sturdy. Uh, depending on how they decide to use it. Um, this was also, I stitched with the gold. I also went around the outside with the snow text. Um, I cut out, I made like snow out of the glitter white foam and then I also put the um, the snow text on that. Um, here's my photo mat. This is also, a, these are Spellbinder dies. Um, this tree I just picked up at Tuesday morning and then I backed it on black foam glitter and then I did the snow text. It had a little bow at the top so I just put a um, a suede bow and then a Dollar Tree sticker uh, red bow and then a Dollar Tree snowflake sticker with a pearl. I have another cardinal on here with a little branch. Another there's a little snowflake with a pearl and then this mailbox is from AliExpress and I put the snow text on that. It had a heart like as if it was for Valentine's Day so I just decorated the mailbox with these bells with the holly and the bow and I added the pearl and then each one has a little fun um, vintage you know looking um, animal so this one has out of a present is a little raccoon popping out of a present so by the Christmas tree so super cute so that's this one and then they each come with I made these pillow boxes um, this pillow box is an oriental trading die um, and I stitched the whole thing. I used this red wired trim. I used this from Halloween. It's the gold and black twine. And all you do is untie it. So I'll just show you one open so I can show you the embellishment, the extra embellishments I made. Um, and I put this little star on there um, from Dollar Tree. And then this is a um, AliExpress die. And what I did was on the beard, I took cotton balls and I made the beard. I cut out in foam the top of the hat and his um, mustache. His nose is a little pom-pom. I added some rosy cheeks and I drew on his eyes. And then I added the big poofy ball pom-pom for the bottom of his hat. Added some snowflake stickers from Dollar Tree. And then this opens up like this and then they each um, each one is slightly different uh, for these. Um, if you want to see what they look like, they're on my Instagram. Um, so it just has a small, um, this is the mini rosette I made, and then there's a large one. So this one has a brown rosette and then a cup, gold cupcake liner rosette. And then I made this bow out of the, out of Chanel stems, um, out of a Chanel stem. And then these, uh, glittery deers were gifted to me last year, um, because I still can't find this deer punch. I'm still looking for it. And then th this is a sticker that says for you. And I just added some pearls. And then the, and hopefully I can pull this out with this ripping. There we go. So this one is the large rosette. So you can see the difference in size. Um, this one's backed on a gold doily. Has a black um, crepe paper rosette. And then it has the buffalo plaid cupcake rosette. And then I have that gold fiber again. And then I have these stickers from last year from Michaels, the deer, um, and that's buffalo plaid too. And then I added the poinsettias. So these are all the same. These are the ones, just the paper on the ear, the and the saying is what varies for those. But if you want to see, because I'm not going to open up every pillow box, I'll show you the different pillow boxes. But if you want to see the rest of them, just head on over to Instagram, and they're right there. So. And then you just tie it shut. And I wanted to do this extra little thing because I want them to be able to, you know, reuse this box, uh, reuse the tags, uh, reuse this envelope maybe to package Christmas gifts for this year or another swap they do. Um, but that's how they're going to come. So there's that one and then I'll just quickly show you the other ones just um, how they're packaged so um, as long as they're not caught on stuff so this one is the next layout this one has this embellishment here 
And then this one has a fox. Same exact thing, it's just this one has a different animal. And then this one has these two tags. And then this one is, this is this pillow box. And this is like a sweater patterned paper. So there's that one. So definitely love how these came out. I should have made an extra one for like extra one of these bags for me. Um, and then this one has a different paper inside. And then this one has, oh, and the snowflakes are slightly different. I don't know if you saw in the other one and the rosettes. This one has the deers. This one has a tree and it says Christmas. And then this one has a deer and it has a deer here so I wanted it to match um, also if anyone wants me to make a tutorial on how I made these envelopes just let me know they were super quick and easy they were like they're kind of just rough cutting and sewing so they're not like perfect but they're they're cute for like pack these kind of like packaging projects and I didn't want it to look perfect anyways that's why I use my um whatchamacallit I'm having a brain fart on the edges my um I'm having a brain fart you guys know um and then this is this one this one's my favorite I like the black and white plaid on these so yeah, so they have a couple extra things they can reuse, and I'm all about packaging, so I'm really happy. So let me know what you guys think, and if you think I did a good job with this. It was my first time kind of doing something like this, so let me know, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye, guys.